I did too, so. We're making the Melissa and Doug Fresh Mart grocery store. What you need is instructions and tools. Yeah. But don't play with knives or sharp box cutters. Get your mom and dad to do it. And you need a screwdriver. Yeah. But now we're playing I don't even know what that is. Okay. Okay. Then, you have to open this bag too. So, Whatever this is. Mommy, mommy help. Oh, I think it's the mommy, conveyor belt. Mommy, Look, mommy, watch this. Mommy, Look. Help. Wow. Mommy, mommy, help. That's cool. Okay, so here's the blueprints. Shows you all the big pieces and all the numbers and how many you need and where everything goes. Go. Okay? So first we need to find out what this piece is. Oh boy, we got a lot of parts to look through, huh? Wah, wah. So a lot of these have little letters or numbers. So look at the sticker and it'll tell you. B would be this piece. That's the one we're looking for first. Next this thing, the accessories. I found it. Spider. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Now what? Let's see. Uh -oh. That means there must be more than one of those. Hmm. Gee, we're getting close. Uh oh. We have a ripped sticker. What do we do? I'll take her out. There we go. Wow! So right down you. here, push it down, and you're just gonna hold it right there. Hold on to it, okay? Yeah, we just having the one yep. from the in the box because oh, wow. because it actually it tells because because it's actually a same a same image of what they are going to do. Exactly. Well wow. said. Exactly the same image. Thank goodness for that, huh? But sometimes the blueprints can be a little hard to read. And so you look at the picture and you can tell what it's going to look like. It would make things pretty easy. But sometimes power drills are too much power. Huh, buddy? He got it. I got it. Okay, buddy, so we need three of the long screws for this. So we need three. And you're going to stay right there and I'm going to come help. While you hold it up, and we'll start the screws and you can finish them, okay? So we got to make sure everything's lined up and they're started moving before you start torquing them down. Torque means how much power and energy you're putting on a part. If you put too much, you can break it. <clears throat> it's like when things twist, how hard it twists. Sure. So I found F in this, and you had to find every part of the alphabetical order. That's right. That helps us out, huh? Mm -hmm. So that way we know we're going in the right steps. Yeah. I said an instruction to help you. Yep. Man, sister's got a good arm. She likes turning the screws. Okay, that one's done. Let's go over okay. here. And 
actually they have the little holes, what they call counterboards. Hey, that my means name when is you make sexy. a small hole, eagle, you can make a bigger hole so that the screw fits flush. Look, yeah, yeah. see how there's a small hole and a bigger hole around it? That way the top of the screw or the head of the screw sits inside. That way you don't have to touch it. Yeah. Sometimes if you get stuck on a screw, it can rip your clothes or worse, your skin and hurt you. Make a cut. Okay. Make a scratch. Oh, uh, like a paper cut? Worse. A paper cut is a small little cut. It hurts, but it doesn't do a lot of damage and usually heals in a couple days. But a tear or a big snag from a sharp thing like a, a screw or a piece of wood, that can hurt you. Slide it this way. Forward. See how it locks? Cool, huh? Good job. Now we need the other one, which is this one. What are you looking for, kid? This, the letter G. Letter G, that comes after F. Huh? G whiz. Maybe come here. So you come right here and stand on the corner. You want to look at it from the right view, okay? It, so you see the picture? Now it looks like the picture, huh? Yeah. But where? If this piece is right here, then where does G go? Where does it go? Look at the pictures. Is there like a little slot it goes into? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And look, it goes into two slots, huh? Yeah. That's what you call corresponding. So these two slots line up and correspond. And there you go. All right, so on to the next step. What comes after G? Hmm? Uh, H. H. Okay, find H. That was so easy. So how does this go? I can't find it. Where's that? Oh, so you're trying to make yourself. I gotta get under it and look. So you're making yourself, right? Yep, there we go. Now Daddy has to use his power drill. Boy. To make, make this thing more faster. First line the holes up, remember? Yeah, we need like two screws. That's right, ready? Mm. Oh, got it. Okay, so my daddy found, found an I and I yep. found a six. We found it, all right. Now all we gotta do is put five screws in this little clip, huh? What about bloopers? <laughs> ah! You have to do that, Daddy. Yeah, I was just being silly. Yeah. All right. And four of these. Oh. Remember, they're different. 17 and 18, 16. So make sure you get the right one. Okay, so make sure you're reading the directions. Part number one and part number two might look the same. This one has a notch. Don't get in a hurry. Don't take shortcuts. Because if you put this one in the wrong place, you're not going to be able to put that in. The notch is very important. Arthur found J, K, and L, but... Very important. Look at the small details. Can you see those little those little bubbles? What that tells you is it needs to look like the picture. See that? Otherwise, you're going to get it backwards. So make sure that the picture looks just like the little part. Okay? Okay, this one's different because you only use one screw and then you use a peg. Peg goes in one hole and the screw goes in the other. Okay? Okay. Screw. Okay? 
We this, need. This will make this like five medals on the elemental people. You're right. We're almost there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. And 19, which is the pegs, times two. Okay. See right there is the same thing. And we're gonna put them. Wah, wah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, because guess what? I have a feeling this one's fixing to come up. You're our kid. Thank goodness for extension cords, somebody. Okay, now I need my helper to hold this up. Ugh, take this huge cube. Put it out here. You were actually right to sit down because it's going to be a lot easier here. Go down. Let it fall down. Down to the ground. And then we're going to push it in gently. So that we don't miss the peg. Or break the things, huh? Because then yeah. we really lose. Yeah, like it just said. Yeah, that would be bad. You want to use the power drill? Yeah. Come here. Hi, Bobbin. Here, I'll hold it right there and you pull the trigger until I say stop, okay? Go. Woo! Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Squeeze. Okay, not so much. Hold on. Wait till I get in there. Uh, it's not working. There we go. Go. Stop. Yeah! And then off? Yeah. <laughs> we did it! Good job. Are you building things? Yeah. Look, well, then you take over. I'm going to bed. R1 and R2. Can you find? Hey! R2 is the name of a robot from the moon. Now we're going to get see. What is the see? Slot, slot, slot. Think. Like swipes. Swipes down here. Swipes. Swipes. That would be gross. No, no, I'm just pretending. Ah. Swipes. Nice. Hey. Here to my left side, right here. Can you hold this right here without letting it fall? Just hold it up. Okay. You don't have to do much, just don't let it fall. Hey, let me ask you a question. Have you enjoyed building this stuff? Yes. I really enjoyed watching you work. You've been doing such a good job and picking things up and turning screws and using power drills. Would you want to help me work on my truck and my motorcycle in the garage? Remember my, my old red truck? Hold that there. Where'd it fall? Well, Daddy wants to rebuild that old truck. And I would really like to have your help. Yes, do you have to hold it? Yep. So would you want to help me? Yes. All right. That'll be in the future. On the Arthur Channel show, huh? Wait. So stay tuned. People say that everything is permanent. Well, that's because the future is on its way. Everything's what in the future? Whoa. What? Daddy, what I brought it on SB129, the 14th episode of SpongeBob. Hear that? Shout outs. Come sue us. <laughs> SpongeBob, huh? <laughs> Everything's foam in the future? I see. So late that like, you should be asleep. Wait, what's so late time? that we should not tell people on YouTube what time you're going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're 
sure I didn't make a goof. Nope. The only goof I see here is you. <laughs> Just smell like one. So I think you can come out. Yeah. The torch. Like I ate like I ate your skin off and then it was like a zombie? No, I no, I'm a vampire. pushes up so you don't have to bend it. Mm -hmm. So you just push it and then it pops in the place. Next we got the cash yeah. register. Don't put personal items in your mouth, huh, Arthur? Is this a personal item? It sure is, but she's your sister. You can share drinks and sodas and bites with sister and mommy and daddy, okay? As long as it's your family member, it's not so bad. Yeah, not just, yeah, not just with other people. Oh, yeah, with other people, uh, it's not good. Yeah. With family, it's not so bad. It's up to you. Is this a personal item, mommy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> cool, huh? The yeah, belt. Let me figure out the handle part. There's, There's still two. things we gotta do. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Get in there. Woohoo! Okay. You're gonna push them on. And then we'll put the tag. So we gotta put one there. We gotta put one right here. You wanna put that one on there for me? You can put these labels, see? Watch this, we got cleaning, beverages, dairy, deli. So you can figure out where you want them and look. Slide that in the slot. Oh, so on this one, cut soup, soup and canned goods. You can actually see that there's also dry goods. So it's two-sided? Yeah. That's so cool. So now you're about to see why daddies have garages with tools and why we never throw away screws. Two of the screws that hold down the cash register were too small, or the hole was too big. So Daddy went out and found a couple that are just right, but it was too tight to get in there. So now we have to get a small screwdriver. All done. All right. Okay, so now we've got everything done. Let's clean up all this Christmas mess, and then we'll show you guys how to play with it. Hi, guys. I am a stock Today we have been some of these grab and go favorites. It's animals, bubble gum, vanilla bars, mm -hmm. some sweet and spicy fruit letters, a gift card, and also also more of these accessories right here. Now I'm going to set the first credit card. Nancy, are you gonna go buy something? Mm -hmm. Go buy something. Go. Okay, Nancy, get the shopping list. Okay. Get, Get the shopping out list.
gotta scan the food, Nancy. Okay. And put it in the bag. Okay, see, but she's missing. Okay, Dave. Oh, yeah. Oh, other way. There you go. Good job. Okay. Now scan the food. Okay. Put it, put it across there. Okay, so does he have to pay? Uh, 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 I don't know. And fifteen dollars. Uh, fifteen dollars. Okay. Uh, and not. then put put your number in and sign, okay. Arthur. Okay. On the pin pad. Okay, okay my number is. Don't 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 tell everyone. It's a secret. Can I say no? Wait, let me sign my name now. Okay. Uh, Merry Christmas from Arthur Channel Show.